morning everybody. Actually it's afternoon, it's gone one o'clock um, but it's the 4th of December today and oh, look at these beauties, I'll tell you about these in a minute. I had a really lovely time last night with my friends. It was so relaxed and fun and the food was delicious, oh, it was lovely. I um, didn't even get to bed that late but I've woken up with a terrible headache this morning. It's not a hangover, by the way. I only had one cocktail. <laughs> um, I did my annoying jaw clenching last night and my ears are literally ringing today. It's horrible. So I don't think I'm gonna be in front of the camera today at all. I'm gonna have an easy afternoon. I have managed to a meal planned for next week. Let's give you a different view. Oh look, there's my lovely Gretel. Oh, I love her so much. So I've managed to meal plan for next week and also organise my food shop. Um, and I've also defrosted two freezers. So I thought that was pretty good going. George gave me a hand defrosting the freezers and then he came down just a minute ago it was in his advent calendar and he doesn't like double deckers and I do anyway I just wanted to show you these it was a sneaky order from Dandelion and Dogwood from Amy and Jen oh, aren't they amazing this one is oh it's not written on I think that was Suki's used dessert this one oh the nutcracker and skating at the palace aren't they just they're almost edible they're just so beautiful anyway um yeah so i think today's vlogmas might be quite short because i just need to rest my head a while i hope to make some lists this afternoon of like my christmas food shop list and um i've got some orders to pack but i think i'm literally just going to chill i might listen to my audio book anyway i hope you're having a lovely saturday and lots of love i've decided to knit another snuggle down cow for a special friend and so i thought i would share my beautiful bits basket this isn't all of my beautiful bits because i still have to organize it but I've got another bag here with smaller bits. Oh, that should be over there. And these are smaller bits that I've almost used. Oh, well, there's some slightly bigger, but these are the smaller bits. So I'm thinking I'd like to make it pinky purple, I think. That's quite nice, isn't it? It's some wallberry fibre. Oh, that's always lovely. That's peignoir dandelion and dogwood i'm not sure if the light is doing anything justice to be honest um what's that? oh yes that's lovely that was from my friend meg who is woolen cookies uh, i think that's is it five of tails in foxglove that's really pretty so i'm gonna do a fade that is lovely actually, I think that might work as well. I can't remember how many colours I used. <laughs> Can you remind me? <laughs> I think, oh, somehow, oh, that's a different one. I think I might have to look elsewhere for some more colours that work. What's that one? Not much there. Might be enough there, oops. Where did you go? That is a dandelion and dogwood can't remember the colour without unravelling it. That would definitely go. Oh, I'm doing quite well, actually. Mm. That may go. That's a dandelion in dogwood as well. I think they're looking really pretty, actually. I think I might start with those and see how I go. But I love this basket. I love the basket and I love the contents. These are kind of a third of a skein, all these ones that are still looking like skeins. Um, 
and because when Amy came, I think it was the first time she ever visited me, we got overexcited. We pulled all of my stash out and we decided we were going to have, going to make, um, I don't know what we were going to make actually, but we took 30 grams each out of each skein so we could make something similar. So these are all the, the thirds left. But that's perfect. Perfect for my beautiful bits basket. What's that one? Oh, that might. No, I think that's a bit pale. But I need to add some more stuff to this. 